In this video, you're going to learn how to set up a Blogger student account. This is intended for the 6th grade social studies classroom, as I am a 6th grade social studies teacher, Mrs. Pagelia, at Vericeo Larry Middle School in the Twin Falls School District. Alright, to start off with, you should have already done the videos on how to save your artifact to your Google Drive You've also should have taken the video and opened up the Google Docs sample, made a copy, and renamed it with your name on it. Then finished up typing in the information to personalize that blog as well as your final reflection. So now we're down to this final step. It says then you're going to open up a blogger account by clicking here. Okay, if it asks you to sign back in with your Google account, that's fine. Just type in your password again and submit it. Roman did the screenshots as I walked him through it once so we could share it with the whole class. So, after you've submitted your username and password again, it's going to ask you whether or not you want to do a Google Pro Plus profile or a blogger profile. Since you are under 13, you do not have access to the Google Plus profile, so you have to click the Google Blogger profile. If you happen to click the first one and didn't listen to the complete directions, this is what's going to pop up. So go back, hit the back button, and click on the correct one, which was the blog profile. Okay, now that you've done that, it's going to say, Welcome to Blogger. Confirm your profile. So put your name in, display name. Yes, I do want you typing in your first and your last name. Okay. We do not want to upgrade to Google+. We're just going to type your first and your last name in that box, and you click Continue to Blogger. The language, you're going to leave it English, so don't mess with that, okay? And no, I do not want you to use a pseudonym because we, as classmates, need to know who we're reflecting upon. That's why you're using your first and last name. Okay, now it opens up to the screen. In this screen, you will notice this button here that says new blog. You can have multiple blogs under one username, but for the purpose of this class, you're going to only create one new blog. So once you click on that, it will open up to have you type in the title and address. You can also look through and choose a template that you would like your blog to look like. So, in the title spot, you're going to type in 6th grade social studies learning blog. You could also put your first name and last name here in the title if you would like. The address now, it will just click in the box, oops, click in the box and in there you will put your first name, last name, 6 SS learning blog. The dot blogspot.com must be there. The reasons it's shortened down to six is to sixth grade and SS for social studies is you cannot have an extremely long address. I want your first name, your last name, six SS learning blog for the address bar, dot blogspots.com. That should already be there. You wish to see a blue check mark, say that, that address is available. Hit create blog. Now, it's gonna say Google domains. You do not have to type in a domain. That would be if you wanna to pay to have a license 
spot and we don't need that. So just click no thanks. And finally, da 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 da, you are ready to start your first post. That is as far as we're going to go on this video. Thank you for watching. In review, you clicked on the buzz to open up blog space. You opened up and signed in with your name first and last. The title of this blog is Sixth Grade Social Studies Learning Blog. Your address that is going to connect it with was the first name, last name, six SS Learning Blog. You can change your template. That's up to you, your choice. And the next video is going to talk, walk you through how to make a post. Clue it says new post right there. But we'll come back to that later. Thanks for watching and listen to the video again if you need to hear it one more time.